The Sarah Connor Chronicles' John Connor has seen the future, and it involves a lot more action and more beautiful girls. I'm Matt Mitovich on the set of the Hit Fox series with Thomas Decker. So how hard has it been promoting this new season? I feel like you're in a kind of a tough place because you know there's, there's the secrecy plus it's sort of in between seasons. Like, you're not a new show but you're not a season show. Yeah, it's hard because they want us to do interviews all day but then don't want us to reveal anything right. that's going on. So I kind of don't get to say much. Um, you know, I think it's great that our show is liked by so many people and has such a kind of cult audience and we only did have nine episodes that aired because of the friggin' writer's strike. Um, so, I've just, I've just been met with a lot of excitement about the new season. How are you describing this new season versus last season? How are they different? It's very different for me. It's a uh, hundred times better, although I really liked it last year, but this is way better. Um, the level of everything has just been raised uh, from everything from action to just the explosiveness of the plot and we've all kind of changed all the characters and... Yeah, I was going to say, is John going to become an increasingly active member of the John ensemble? just is a, is a different guy. Yeah. Totally different character. I don't even feel like I'm even really playing or he's... Uh, something happens to him, one of the things that I can't talk about at the beginning of the new season and it really... Um, it immediately changes him and he becomes very cold and angry but not in the kind of petulant whiny you know we did that on purpose and in the first season he was kind of a weak kid with his long hair doing his thing and that he wasn't yeah. really the warrior yet a lot of people I think wanted to see that and now they are and we did that so that it would be a, a, a fun trip to watch him transform so uh, he's he's not very nice he's, he's a cold uh, soldier and uh, it's, that's really great for me to play but the best thing about this season is that nobody can be trusted no one, none of the characters can be trusted, none of the plot can be trusted. Everything, every week now ends with a massive cliffhanger, there's twists and turns. Yeah, I was, I was talking to Levin Rambin and she yeah. was saying that John kind of gives her the cold shoulder when they first meet, yeah. that he doesn't want anything to do with her. Well, John doesn't want feelings. And obviously, if you like a girl, that brings feelings. So, John, uh, I think he was still very emotional last season. He was holding on to his innocence in a way of, of uh, feeling, but he, he doesn't want that this season gets in the way. He just wants to fight and do what he has no choice but to do. But does he slowly start to let uh, yeah. Levin's character Riley in? can't avoid her. Yeah. <laughs> She's persistent. She's persistent, and uh, he, you know, on the one hand, it's everything I just said, but on the other, he still can't help that natural no, desire for something no, nice in his life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard that uh, because Fox basically forced the show to introduce Levin's character sooner rather than later, that's yeah. why they named her Riley after Fox after president Kevin, Kevin Riley. Riley. You're absolutely right there, sir. Our writer has lots of little own jokes like that. So tell everybody out there just how cool is your TV mom, Lena Headey? Uh, I hear she's pretty fierce. Lena and I that get along kind of ridiculously well. I think everyone thinks we're lying when we talk about how great friends we are, the three of us, but that actually is cheesy as it may be, it's true. Last night we were at the Santa Monica Pier doing bumper cars for about 45 minutes, stuff like that. So it's definitely not the kind of relationship I'm used to with other actors. Who, who was getting the best of the others on the bumper cars? Lena. Yeah. No surprise. I still man. couldn't work out how. <laughs> it's confusing. It's been a while, right? yeah. It's been, not since I was a little kid. That was a cool moment they had in the season finale where John got to see his father as yeah. a kid. That was kind of a nice yeah. emotional touchstone for you. Yeah, that scene was, I thought, was one of the nicest, you know, plot character development scenes and I, I uh, it really, it touched a lot of people. A lot of the messages I get from people are saying how much they like that, that moment and, and you're going to see this season that storylines about Derek and John and his father and all that comes back in the future. We go to the future a lot and, uh, you know. So you've had a chance to meet your TV dad, Jonathan Jackson? Finally. I didn't meet him last season because the episode he was in, all his stuff I wasn't in and right. so finally I was came to set for a wardrobe thing and he was there, so I finally got to meet my father. <laughs> Alright, so give us one last tease about the coming season of Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Um, trust no one. There is nothing that is sacred or safe or trustworthy in this series anymore. It's a wild, wild ride.